man. So growing, going into our second list, another very exciting list, guys. This is going to pretty much be uh, my flavor list. Let me sorry. Let me, and we have, again, Gazgul Throckoff. I dropped some. All right. So here we have, this looks like a very similar list to Sean Naden. Um, it's a list that we've seen actually last week, but it's not necessarily the same. And he, it'll be a funny reason why. So we have Gazgul Throckoff, Captain Badrock, Knob with Wall Banner, War Bosses, Follow Me Lead. We have three trucks. That's kind of like the key point where I like to be three to four. Um, and we have a burner bomber. Whoa, what's going on? This is my flavor. Whoa, didn't catch all you guys off guard with that, didn't I? Nobody seen this coming. You guys thought it was gonna be Death Copters or something silly. No, he brought a whole burner bomber. All right, but let's continue before we get stuck on that. Uh, flash gets two units of Gretchen, Grot tanks. Whoa, you know, you got lovers. Uh, yeah, so we got a little, uh, of course, with the rockets. I like with the rockets, no question. Um, uh, going back on my tier list, maybe these guys should have been a tier. I might have been slept in a little bit on them. Commandos. I like to see the commanders are coming back up into the meta. Uh, people are trying to mid that play that mid table. Be prepared for like the tier ends, the space marines, possibly all these different units that are trying to play. Then we have mega knobs going with the gas. So we have three kill saws and then quill saws plus power claw. Okay, so he had saws, but yeah, that was weird. That's a weird combo, but I'm down with that. Um, only one mech gun, probably just for points variety. Knobs right here, big unit, two scalpel units of knobs. I love that um i'm surprised i mean as you see he doesn't have storm boys he doesn't have any of that and i believe he has the war boss and then he has a knob with wall banner for a double wall with knobs whoa that really did catch me off guard to be honest um i don't know who who really saw that coming but we've i've heard people talk about it people have talked about what if i run multiple uh what if i run knobs and then i run the actual wall with wall banner to give them another one i've been considering like man even though it does get you to the strength 10 threshold you are still hitting on fours during that you do get more attacks though in a different kind of durability you could always hard as nails oh, and i was always back and forth on it but to see someone actually perform on it is um you know encouraging and and you know humbling and should make everybody feel like yeah just use whatever you really want to use as for the burner bama um it pretty much until the end of the turn cannot receive the benefit of cover in addition for that roll d6 so anybody then it moves over in your normal move you can select one any movement you moved over and they do not receive the benefit of cover that's what the burner bomber does as for his shooting i mean he just has some scorcher missiles some strength five shots some interesting super shooters you know they have some twin links some have ignored fire cover it's a decent volume of shots but i mean it's still hitting on fives so it's very much just a plane with a different kind of der you know ability i guess ignoring cover actually low key might be freaking awesome for the flash kits you could say ignore cover and then have minus one ap so that might have actually been an interesting kind of different kind of tech piece to be honest um still seems to line oh also you're making the grot tanks not get that I mean, he could have been cooking with some fire right there, guys. The mech guns get to ignore cover. So, hey, I mean, you've drawn diverse some firepower. Uh, he doesn't really have that many transports. But, I mean, oof, that list kind of, this list is kind of hilarious. So, let's look into one of his, some of his matchups, right? But Burner Bombers, ignore cover. Uh, they don't get the benefit of cover. And then the orcs get to just shoot him, I guess. So, that was, that's an interesting tech piece. So, let's see his first matchup. Right away, we got the new White Scars Gladius. Wait, is that new? And, um, so, I was, well, calling them White Scars just felt like it. Was all right so we got terminators captain with the relic shield and honor veerman librarian judiciar uh sorry this is a little jumbled uh 10 assault intercessors one with a thunder hammer uh some more assault intercessors two impulsors a terminator unit outride blade guard valiant uh blade guard veteran sorry repulsor executioner uh gladiator valiant a storm speeder thunder strike yeah sorry it's written kind of weird guys so this is just trying to do what white scars do um with the, with the sorry i said it was new but it's not um you know I, this isn't in my opinion not that i'm trying to talk down anybody you know you start off the tournament you don't always go against the most um brutal you know competitive list um assault intercessors aren't really doing a good job into orcs as a whole you're not going to get good trades we're not really worried about raid blade guards or outriders um um and as a whole they're just not getting good trades and shots on that it, you know it's just interesting it's i mean it is fun to play white scars i'm into that um you know they might be a little stronger coming forward um but that's okay and overall he got 94 points into that just want to take them down real quick i think overall orcs just do really well into space marines you know we, it, when we especially when we too start to bring the ap as you see from gaz as you see from um the war boss here on this list and you know flash gets are actually pretty awesome obviously with their damage to strength six so this is a second matchup um yeah second matchup he goes into 
Grey Knight. So we got Castellan's Chrome, Brother Champion, Brother Librarian, Grandmaster, and Nemesis Dread Knight. Okay. I'm not sure exactly how competitive these are. I don't usually think they are. And um, whenever I see them in the game as an orc player, I'm just like, whatever, I'll kill that thing. Not really usually imposing in any kind of way. A um, bunch of different units of Strike Marines. Not necessarily the most uh, meta or competitive. Inceptors are fine for, you know, scoring running around. Purifier Squad, as we talked about them, and a bunch of Dread Knights. So this is actually just off the wall, different kind of Grey Knights list. Uh, and as, you know, still respectable because Grey Knights do have some good shenanigans and scoring capabilities at all time. And this person might be trying to optimize that with this kind of weird kind of different way to play maybe he got tired of not being good at killing stuff that has you know high toughness so he's trying with and stuff with these red knights but uh it's a different kind of great knights list and he did punish him for that because he put up 100 points on that as he should um going on to his third matchup he has world eaters um world eaters are a slept on faction that some people kind of over underestimate a lot and i don't think they should so we got angron we got lord avocado um world eaters demon prince with helm of brazen ire um this guy i think is actually pretty key for world eaters if you ever see a world leaders list and they have this know that the guy's playing serious no, i'm just kidding but the whole point is this guy actually has a six up uh, six inch aura of a four up invuln that he's giving up um this enhancement gives him i think two up armor save and halves damage so this actually makes him very durable he can hide behind a piece of terrain give a nice aura have things string out to him it becomes very very annoying then we have master of executions they're always pretty good and then uh this guy the one with the favored by corn enhancement i guess that's fine i you know i think they have better Overall, they're still pretty good. I'm surprised they didn't bring the relic of the me the melee relic, but overall, Master of Executions have great capability. So we have uh, Jackals and then Corn Berserkers. It's a big brick. Usually, you bring these just to kind of um, deliver the Master of Executions because this guy's to move when they shoot, of course. Um, eight bound, one unit of big Terminators from, well, not big, sorry, one unit of Terminators. Uh, then we have Allied units already, two units of Flesh Hounds, and Karnak. So this list is very much going into uh, the characters fighting with the demon. I don't think there's enough on this list to really take advantage of this world year aura. Um, it's not enough jackals and everything. But people sleep on Angron. People sleep on these guys' capability as a whole as an army, having been able to fight in death, being able to get very similar rules as the orcs get and want to play um, a weird kind of aggro counter-charging game. Um, into us is weird because we're usually the ones that want to aggro people but these guys can actually advance and charge the whole game so it makes them kind of different um world leaders should be respected that's a different list not usually with the <clears throat> what we're seeing all the time but it is a faction to be beholden of now games four we have what was that fun i just clicked no okay we have the cast knights so let's see what kind of cast knights spam so we have a stalker uh war dogs with brigand two well, how many brigands are this uh one two three four five goodness six goodness all right dude <laughs> Right. all the brigands man i mean they are very very effective hitting on twos with those rep weapons and everything but dang okay um one two three four of course the carnivores this is actually a highly competitive cast uh space uh, cast knights list in my opinion um i've seen these on the table they're very very efficient to most in most ways they're playing the mission because they have so much oc and there's so many of them um and then the nerglings actually help them in certain ways with even making you minus one to hit or stuffing you a little bit where they can your deployment uh screening for themselves it's very hilarious so this is actually a very very good list that he's been playing into is this a uh, game four yeah so this is his game four but he put up 98 points into that list which is very impressive and that's where possibly having the double knob wall because then they have a, their uh, strength 10 again so instead of caring that they're hitting on fours you're just happy that they're wounding on fours instead of on fives into those little knights as well um gas is tearing through them if you know you're hopefully makari's that two up invul really comes in play here, uh comes in play here and i mean captain bad Ruck, to be honest and his gets can actually tear on some of those walkers so i mean target priority taking down the maybe the melee one so you can just run forward and try to play the mission because ultimately all those uh, brigands have no melee weapons so if he was just target priority you know correct against these these chaos knights um all the little knights that with the carnivores are getting tore down by the orcs even without beef snackers like i said guys always remember you can throw grenades you can tank shock them with your trucks it's hilarious the battle wagons can do it everything um those battle all those transports are hard for those knights to pop reliably sometimes so it's kind of pretty awesome I'm, I'm that's a fantastic win right there and then his last matchup is oh actually it was that last matchup sorry i, I, I clicked that i'm um that was goofy of me sorry that was the last matchup no wonder why it was a good one yeah okay that was he did he did win obviously but it was a 68 point win right there um great job by him that was a very good way to end it at the end oh no he did play twice it was two 
Aha, I did not trick myself. That's what I thought. He actually had to play against two Chaos Knights list. Nice. Okay, so the difference, in, it looked exactly the same. Ha, that almost caught me off guard. I was like, did I misclick? Which is hilarious. Now you guys know what I got to deal with. Um, Yeah, it looks like these guys just brought the same exact thing. Yes, they brought the same exact thing. So the mission might have made the difference here or just the straight up skill of the player. Um, It looks like that guy actually ended up coming in second that he ended up losing to. Very super close game, 68 to 61. That could have gone either way, but great job, James. Ball. Uh, it was very awesome to see that. I'm very happy with that orc list. I love the knob with wall banner. Um, I'm very happy to see that Gaz is making his appearance more and more right now. I know people were kind of sleeping on Gaz for a while and they weren't happy with him. Um, the knob with wall banner, people laugh at me when I brought him, but no, he's pretty great. War bosses, war bosses making their appearance everywhere. And then the burner bomber. I mean, is that a real tech piece or was this just like a one off thing, guys? You guys let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. But the burner bomber is really awesome. Of course, we got the grot tanks also. It's a great job by James Ball. That was actually a very exciting list. It was my favorite list of the week as well. I wanted to make sure I picked that one. 